Hi everyone, my name is Zine Kengana and I am currently running a campaign through Bekebari to raise funds for a facial reanimation surgery. Uh, this surgery will help improve the nerves, uh, the nerve movement on the right side of my face. So if anyone is interested in supporting the campaign or donating, please see the link in the comments below. Thank you. So today I thought I could just, you know, um, explain a little bit about my journey so far and how I got to know about the facial reanimation surgery. Before 2019, I didn't really have much information except for because the facial paralysis happened so long ago and the nerves have been so far stretched that they are like totally damaged and nothing can be done. But these were views of mostly GPs because sometimes when I go to the doctor, maybe for flu, and um, any new doctor that meets me or any medical professional would ask, um, what happened to your face? And then I would explain. Some would think it's a uh, Bell's palsy, but uh, okay, when I do explain that it happened so long ago and what had happened, okay, they will rule that out. Mostly would just say, okay, because it has happened so long ago, nothing can be done. So um, until I saw this page on Instagram, I think it's called the Facial paralysis institute uh and it's in america and then i saw how these people were having all these uh, wonderful surgeries that gave them facial symmetry or a, a, a smile like you know a, a straight smile like wide so and then i also then went back and uh, started doing some research and then i found a doctor back then in 2019 which I visited and, you know, um, I went for a consultation and um, he assessed my situation and um, came to a conclusion that uh, because it's been so long, yes, the nerves are like very stretched, but there is, a, there is a, an operation that can be done called facial reanimation surgery that now would help with the side of the face that is not working um but then there was also something that uh, we tried for for the lines on 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 my forehead uh because one side has the frown lines and this the other side doesn't so he said okay a temporary fix for that would be botox um you use botox to to cement the other side that's working so that it just doesn't move like the other one like the feeling of botox it's i think the best way that i can explain it is it really feels like your your face is cemented because you then don't have any any movement like um there won't be any facial movement any muscle movement or you can't really like express um emotions because those muscles in in that area they are like very cemented and the feeling for me was like that but uh i didn't carry on with it for long um i think i only went for two sessions because it doesn't last long for one and uh, secondly yes it is uh expensive uh, or those injections are expensive but anyway um what i was mostly interested in was something that was going to be long term so uh me and the doctors um we did our research as to what can be done anyway okay he gave me his uh, quotation for the services that he would provide in his part and then we looked into what the hospitals would cost and all the other doctors that would be involved so at that time in 2019 the quotation came up to just around 250,000 rand and that for me felt like uh an insurmountable mountain because I was like okay like where am I going to get like 250,000 rand and then COVID happened and then I just you know um put that in the back of my mind and it wasn't a focus anymore and then um I think just um at the end of april i was talking to a friend uh because i had gone now and tried out another non-surgical procedure it's called aptus 
um, they they kind of sew your face. And in that, I was trying to get this facial symmetry. But when that was done, it's, a, it's, it's non-surgical. It's a non-surgical procedure. When it was done, I still felt like, no, but I don't see any difference. And I knew that something that would actually make like a, a big difference and a lasting difference would be the facial reanimation surgery. But it just seemed so out of reach because of how expensive it is. So as I was talking to her, she asked me, um, but what happened to the surgery that you wanted to do before, uh, that you had done some research and made some arrangements with hospitals and stuff? I said, the surgery just felt so out of reach for me because it was so expensive. The moment that I said those words, that bothered me a lot because I felt like, oh my goodness, I, I, I can, I'm not this person that feels like so defeated and just gives up on things. And I felt like I don't think I've done everything that I can, you know, to try and raise funds for the surgery. So maybe there is something that I have not explored. Um, maybe there is something that I haven't done. Maybe there is um, a door that I have not knocked on. So I thought, okay, maybe let me do some research again and 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 see what can be done now or who i can talk to um and then and then that was that and um i think a week ago i woke up with this brainchild to 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 open a, a non-profit organization like a foundation where i would raise awareness about facial paralysis where you would get help and how you would get help and maybe possibly raise funds for the people that need help because sometimes it's not the money that is stopping a person from having um a facial uh, reconstruction reconstructive surgery uh it's information because most of what the doctor said to me was um it's been so long ago. Why was this not corrected when you were younger? But I don't think uh, facial reanimation surgery was available in like the late 80s or early 90s. So I thought, okay. And I know of a foundation that mostly help kids. Um, and then, so anyway, so I decided to register this NPC. I registered it. And then I spoke with one of, of, uh, of my friends and I was telling her that I registered it in this NPC, but I know that I can't raise funds for myself because I want to register it as a, as a public benefit organization. But then it's a kind of hypocritical of me to say, I'll raise funds for you for the same operation that I want, which I have not done anything to actually raise funds or get help for myself. So I thought, okay, I will use myself as a sort of a, a guinea pig and try to see if this organization can actually be successful, that I would actually be able to raise funds for myself first, not in not through the organization, but in my personal capacity, because the organization is a public benefit organization. So anyway, so I did some, some more research and then just to see like, okay, where can I um, start raising funds and how do the NPOs and NPCs raise funds? So I came across the Becky Buddy. There were other platforms as well that one can use, but I think the SA one was a uh, Becky Buddy. So I, uh, I put my, um, my, uh, you know, I, I put down my campaign and I told my story. I know uh, my story sounds very sad in a way. And most people that know me, they know that I'm not like mostly sad. And it's because, you know, you, you tend to accept what you can't change at the time. And you, you, you know, you just ask God to have the strength to change or the courage to change the things that you can. So most of the time I felt like, okay, the information that I had was leading to, there is not much that can be done. So now, now that I know that there is actually something that can be done, I know that there might be some people out there that are also suffering the same uh, fate that I am suffering or they have the same facial um, paralysis or it might not be 
um like the same exactly it might be other things but they just maybe don't know because they don't have the information where they are as to that there is actually help that can be given maybe you know um uh, maybe it's a child and they don't know that there are foundations out there that actually give free operations and corrective surgeries for kids so the, that's what i will do with the foundation but you know i thought okay how about i go first and raise the funds for myself and try to get to this surgery and just maybe if if the funds are not raised but maybe someone else would get some information and and see that there is actually help out there they are kids or themselves they don't have to grow up with a facial paralysis uh, medical discoveries now they've made things pretty um advanced and they are like a, there's a lot that can be done so for me, I would really, really appreciate your help if um, you can help me raise the funds to have this uh, operation. Yes, I know like, you know, having any type of um, paralysis or a part of you that you don't like, it really does mess with your self-confidence. But I have really tried to just live my life without focusing very much on what is wrong with me and um, I think I don't know it could be just I have like a very strong personality but I thank God for that and 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 as well as how I was raised so I would really really appreciate if you could spread the word if you can't donate financially you can just share the link uh, maybe it will reach someone that can actually do something about it. You know, any help and every help is totally, totally appreciated. And I truly appreciate those that have already shared my post on Facebook. You can share it anywhere else that it's possible. Like you can share the link and maybe it will land on someone's uh, browser, the, someone that can actually help. So it doesn't really have to be you specifically if you feel like okay uh, this is not something that i can support financially other means of support are totally totally appreciated so thank you very much everyone for for your words of support and for sharing the campaign and for supporting uh 